Hi everyone, this is Ty Williams, how everyone is doing today. I am going to be discussing on AEW announce a tournament for AEW Women Championship to have a title shot against Hiku Shishida. And also, I'm going to talk about Rio returning to AEW. So, for anyone who listens to this video, I don't have no problems and no personal issues with AEW fans and the people run AEW. This is a opinion. This is not facts. This is construction criticism. I'm going to be honest on what I think about what AEW is doing. So, this is what I think personally. I feel like there is there is strong divide on how AEW book their women's division. You have Kenny Omega supposed to be in charge for the women's division. And I just found out recently that Kenny Omega is in charge for the Japanese talent and the Japanese woman wrestler from stardom. And I was like, okay, that makes sense. But Brandy and Cody is in charge of American talent in AEW, like the women's division. And if you notice... All the storylines in the women's division evolve around Cody and Brandy. And that's why Hikaru Shida doesn't get any TV time, any spotlight, and she always in the audience, couldn't do nothing, couldn't build her character around people as champion even um someone gave tony khan idea having hicks to to do a open challenge match but who took the open challenge angle in the match cody rose so i feel that there is tension between Brandy Rose and Cody Rose and Kenny Omega when it comes to AEW's women division. And my issue with this tournament, the tournament represent USA versus Japan. I feel there gonna be lots of exposures on this tournament but however i feel there's gonna be lots of like lots of intensity between kenny omega and cody rose and brandy on the idea like who is the best wrestler in the world and who gonna be the it girl and i feel the it girl has to be someone that people are hyped up and people could get into and root for or boo on. It gotta be a female can bring something new, something different that you never see a woman wrestler do or a wrestler do, period. And what I'm seeing right now is that 
is anyone's ball game who could make people invest to the women's division in AEW. Because right now, AEW recognize their weakness. And their weakness is the women's division. And I'm so tired of people making excuses like, it takes time. It takes time. It takes baby steps. Well, yeah. It been over like at least three and a half years or so. And I feel that they got talented woman wrestlers that got something unique. But the issue is, it's backstage politics that caused issue between Kenny Omega, Brandy Rose, and Cody. Cody want to make everything about himself, but also to Brandy. And that's my problem with Brandy. You know that you are not that type of wrestler. Brandy is more of those typical woman wrestlers who is a valet slash manager who could take bumps here and there to to escort their man who they manage him with, who are val valet with, and just stay there and look pretty and take interesting bumps. That's Brandy. Brandy doesn't have any accomplishments on her resume as a wrestler. She got titles here and there, but she never, I would say, compete with them or something along the lines. And I feel like her talent is holding on to bigger talents that could make AEW interesting. And I'm not saying that Brandy is the re matter of fact, Brandy is the reason why AEW Women Division is not good. Could I believe that she is part of the blame? I feel that Cody Rhodes is part of the blame. I feel like Kenny Omega is part of the blame. And I feel like Tony Khan is part of the blame. And I, and I feel that all four of them have different view set on what their woman division is supposed to be. Even Britt Baker is coming forward and saying like the truth. Even even she was in this um her segment with Cody and she told him in his face like your wife have a action figure than us. And when she say that, I like that is some strong shade. And I understand what Britt Baker meant. Like Brandy got that action figure because of Cody. And I know I'm sound like a head, but that's the truth. And even she come out with an article, you can check it down below. And she said that Cody is thinking about himself instead of others. He don't want others to outshine him. 
And when she say certain things like that, I was like, whoa, that makes sense. And I do feel that's why Brandy and Cody does have an ego problem on who they could put over or not. Like Hiko Shishida, he knows that Hiko Shishida could be a star. Same thing as Nala Rose could be a star. And I feel like they have something to do with it. I feel like they manipulate um, to get what they want in the women's division in AEW. And as for Kenny Omega, I feel like Kenny Omega got the idea and want to bring Japanese women wrestling in America but here's the problem there are two different culture like the Japanese culture and the Western culture the Western culture still having sexism towards women, prejudice towards women. And they have this strong idea that women supposed to be hot and sexy and they wrestling moods, they wrestling mood are limited. Like they supposed to be manager and valet. That's it. And that's the hard truth. And Kenny Omega want to bring this new age style of woman wrestling. Like the worth ethic in the women's division in Japan, but bring it in America. And that's how Brandy and Cody and Kenny Omega clash because they have two differences, two different idea on what make a woman wrestling fan. You can make a wrestling fan, but what make a woman wrestling fan that make people get interested like NST and WWE and like I said before they got the tools they got the tools to make these women wrestlers a star and I feel like Kenny Omega want to bring Rio and to make her a star. But thing with Rio, she's a talented in-ring worker, very talented, but she need to have a upgrade with her personality. She had to look different. She had to have a gimmick that get people invested like she's beautiful she's pretty she is a good worker but she had to have that personality and something about her personality that make people love her or hate her and i remember i did this video about a, I think I did this vid called Yuka Saki. Like, I, I did this video, it was last year about it'd be so cool of this Yuka magical girl return as the dark virgin. 
and to terrorize Britt Baker with blood and creepy stuff like creativity. I say that and I feel that Rio could be creative. You know, Rio could do something different. If Kenny Omega want to push Rio, she have to do this promo or or something related to him or have Don Callis do something with her. Like make her a vicious person. Like have her wearing dark makeup look different, look intimidating. Like I know that she look younger and skinnier, but I, it's just like the thing with Rio Rio is not the ideal woman wrestler that the Western wrestling fans like. And I'm saying this to be more honest. Wrestling male American fans always focus on a girl's look and a, and a girl's body. And Rio doesn't have that sex appeal. And I say it. And I know it sounds suck, but that's how the male fans like women wrestlers of being sexy and nothing more. But if I was Rio, I feel like her wrestling mood could stand out. Her new look, her being this ruthless, evil, no good summer of a biatch. And I know that she looks sweet, she look innocent, but she needs to be edgy. She needs to be different. She needs to be out there. Like, let her be her own person, but in her own narrative. That's why I feel like Rio. But when I said about Brandy and Cody trying to make the woman division about dumb is so true because look at red velvet red velvet wrestle with brandy brandy got pregnant and i feel bad for red velvet because i saw potential of red velvet i saw potential of Anna J and Ali and I see it. Rel Velvet is now called Mini Brandy or brand replacement in this stupid shack and Cody and Jay storyline that doesn't make sense and I feel like this storyline is all about Brandy and I say it and once again I'm not a Rose hater I'm not a Kenny Omega hater I am not bashing the Rose family whatsoever I'm just being honest. And that's what people need to be, be more honest. And I cannot stand when people being this yes, 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 yes mentality and knowing that what they see sucks. 
like Brandy and Cody could do better than that. And if I was Brandy, I will not let all these green as wrestlers to come out looking stupid. Because that seemed like very unprofessional. That's one thing I like about WWE. They do not let wrestlers who are green look some type of way on TV. And they need to learn that some women are not good on television or doesn't doesn't understand what to do having lots of cameras around them in the ring or around the audience. And I feel that some women wrestlers are just too green in AEW and they need to like polish their skills, polish their might, and just be the best wrestler they can be. And I hope that Jay doesn't look like a complete buffoon in her match against Cody and Rel Velvet. And you gotta be a mixed tag team match anyway. And you're gonna have Brandy just pop out of nowhere and just hit Jay in the head something and boom. You know it's gonna happen. But as for Kenny Omega, I understand what he's coming from. I feel like he's trying to bring Joshi style Japanese woman wrestling. And Jap Japanese woman wrestling is way better than women wrestling in America because these women will whoop your behind. And these women are tough as nails. And I understand there is like a distance between Brandy Rose and and Kenny Omega. Like I feel like Brandy and Cody is very different to Kenny Omega about his decision on doing this tournament in the women's division. So that being said, this is Ty Williams. Good day.